Hi, I'm here to talk to you about how antivirus has evolved into endpoint detection and response with threat hunting. Once upon a time, signature-based antivirus was enough to protect you against all known malware. However, with the proliferation of known malware, with 200,000 new malware samples being released every day, this was insufficient. So heuristic technology, which was identifying more suspicious files, as guessing if they look like a known malware, then there could be a variant of that malware. Unless identified as being malware or suspicious, everything else, although unknown, was allowed to run. This is a huge risk. A new cybersecurity idea was required, 100% classification, where no executable is allowed to run, be it unknown or suspicious, until actively classified as goodware, all as a service. How did this occur? Panda Security released its endpoint detection and response solution. With full visibility of every single process on the endpoint, combined with our 30 years of knowledge about malware and goodware, allows us to classify all new processes. The vast majority of these, 99.98%, are classified automatically, with the small remainder being manually classified by our experts at Panda Labs, who create new rules for these to feed back into our automatic classification system, continuously improving it. This continuous improvement has shown itself. In the five years since the launch of our EDR solution, we are seeing a massive decrease in file-based malware infections amongst Panda customers, despite there being many more Panda customers and much more malware out there. No longer able to make use of these malware-based attacks, hackers are turned into living off the land techniques. This involves making use of legitimate programs installed on the majority of computers and misusing them for their nefarious purposes. It has the added advantage of the fact that their traffic can be anonymised amongst all of the legitimate traffic that is occurring. If a hacker is determined enough to get onto your network and applies enough resources and time to it, they will eventually get through. It might be through an unpatched vulnerability, such as Eternal Blue, Double Kill, or the recent Blue Keep vulnerabilities. These will punch straight through your security without any user having to click or open anything. Hackers also often craft legitimate looking messages encouraging the users to click on a macro or other security issue. Or it might be that they engage in a brute force dictionary attack against your remote desktop protocol. These are just a few of the methods that they could use to get in. Others include credential stuffing, rogue Wi-Fi points and USB stick drops. When the attacker does establish a beachhead on your network, they can make use of legitimate tools such as PowerShell and Active Directory, depending on their requirements. It might be that they want to escalate their permissions using applications such as Command Key to gain administrative privileges. It could be that they use IP network scanning tools to scan your network until they find your crown jewels, such as the file server and then they can make use of PSXEC to move laterally onto the file server and engage in stealing your data. The longer they remain on your network, the longer they have to achieve their objectives, which may be data exfiltration, it could be encryption of your data to hold you to ransom, it could be denial of operations, or it could be setting up a crypto miner operation. Most organizations do not have the requirements to deal with these living as the land attacks. It requires an advanced security solution with context and visibility of what's going on, and detailed analytics capabilities to be able to identify the legitimacy of any such alerts that occur. Panda Security's Threat Hunting and Investigation Service looks at hundreds of activities on each endpoint. This will include the misuse of PowerShell, Active Directory Compromise, and user and application activity. So if any application or user behaves unusually, it raises a flag for us to investigate. This enables Panda Labs to issue our clients with proactive threat warnings, such as brute force RDP attacks or unpatched vulnerabilities looking like they're being compromised. This enables our customers to improve their security. A good security posture should, like ogres and onions, consist of layers. Ensure that you have a good patching strategy in place. Patching known vulnerabilities will stop 90% of attacks before they can even occur. Ensure that all of your users have received security awareness training, both on induction and on an ongoing basis. This will enable them to avoid phishing attacks and malicious websites. Ensure you have a good data protection policy. Identify, monitor, and protect all of your important data. This can be 
with both encryption and disconnected backups. This will stop not only cyber threats, but also physical threats such as fire and theft. And lastly, but most importantly, ensure that you have a good security solution in place. It needs to be an endpoint detection and response solution with full forensics and threat hunting services included in it. This will allow you to stop this guy. Thank you for listening to my brief overview. If you have any questions, please ask Panda Security.